I have an opinion on what I see as an issue with NASCAR. I think it's the only professional American sport that is not a meritocracy. And what I mean by that, it's a big word I know for, for all the viewers out there. It's, it's, a, big, it's a big word for me. I, I learned it recently. It, a meritocracy meaning it's not totally merit-based. When I'm watching the NFL or the NBA or Major League Baseball, I know these are the best baseball, football, and basketball players in the world without question. You can't start a middle linebacker for the Chicago Bears if you're not, you, you've earned your way there. I believe that NASCAR has lost that. I think I had someone that you and I respect very much in the NASCAR world, we both know and love, tell me that half the field are those dudes. They're incredible. The other half, Michael, you might be right. They may not be the best drivers in the world. I think the fans are smart enough to know that and pick up on that and go, man, that guy's, you know, he sort of was interconnected and was able to get his ride and brought. And to me, I just think that's a fault. It's the only professional American sport that exists in that way where you don't know if you're watching the best. Tell me if I'm right or wrong about that. I'll meet you halfway out 50, 50 for okay. sure. Uh, so my mama taught me this. Don't insult my intelligence. <laughs> I, so I agree with you. Okay. Yeah. We cannot insult NASCAR fans intelligence. Right. Okay. Dirt racing fans absolutely did love now i say that past tense yeah they loved the nascar i mean we would you know bruce patron we do these race of champions deals uh bob Sargent and schrader they were teamed up we would do nascar nights and i'm telling you if we did a nascar night 20 years ago it was unbelievable yeah dirt racing fans worship nascar yeah what pissed the dirt racing fans off is NASCAR started getting greedy. Yeah. They said, okay, we're going to Texas. And the dirt fans are like, hey, man, listen, I'm not insulting dirt racing fans, but they're like, we got $60. Yeah. That's, we got 60 bucks. We want to go to Sunday's cup race. Yeah. And Texas Motor Speedway said, no, yeah. you, you got to buy the, the truck ticket, the Xfinity ticket. And now, and then the hotel rooms are $300. And now everybody became angry because they didn't have enough money to go to a NASCAR race. Now they're, yeah. now they're mad. Then they go, well, look at this guy over here. Who is that? And I can name names all day long. They brought money to get in the seat. Yeah. Okay. Now, you're right, 100% right. But here's where the problem lies. Junior motorsports, that's all Rick Hendrick. Uh, you know, Rick Hendrick owns those cars, yeah. owns those motors, to keep junior motorsports doing something, it, it's a it's a really, you know, and, and there's Kelly and Ernst, but all, all those cars, mm -hmm. that's all Rick Hendrick stuff. So you go, okay, Justin Allgaier, you cannot race. And then all of a sudden, Justin goes, I got Brant money. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Kelly's like, okay, we'll let you drive the car. <laughs> right. Now, I just I just acted it out for you. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Joe and, and Bob and Dan. They're not fired. Yeah. So as soon as we make fun of the people that bring the money, it's like, okay, they're out of the ride. Well, let's put a guy in here that has no money, but he's talented. Well, he ain't got no money. Yeah. So then the team shuts down. So I know all these things. And the people at Fox Sports said, Kenny, you're too jaded. I'm like, what do you mean? They said, you know too much. Yeah. You tell too much truth. You got to let some of it. You know, it's, it's like I said this, Alcatraz prison, the bird man of Alcatraz. Yeah, bird man. The man had one bird. Yep. But by the time it got going, he had 100 birds. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with NASCAR. And you, so, Yeah. And you brought up Bobby Pierce. And the reason I feel so passionate about this is yeah. when I spend my life watching, whether it's Bubba Pollard in the asphalt late model side or Bobby Pierce or Brad Sweet or, or Corey Day, who is the next great American sprint car superstar, I believe in my hearts and I'm going to stake my flag. Those guys are better than a lot of the guys we, and I'm listen, Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin, those guys are good. They're good in anything, anytime. Those guys, we know who the studs are, right? Tyler Reddick, I believe is, is good anytime, anywhere. But when I watch Bobby and Corey day, I go, son of a bitch. These guys are as good as these guys. And I, and that bothers me. And it's, and that's not like a knock on the guys in NASCAR as much as it is me identifying talent and going, if this was the NFL, 
there'd be a New England Patriots scout in some small town in Minnesota watching some kid run the 40-yard dash going, I'm going to take this kid from Minnesota and he's going to play for the Patriots. That dream is hard to accomplish in the highest level of American motorsports, and that makes me sad, and it makes so, me sad. So I agree with you in psychologically. Yeah. Uh, what I hear from you, and, and this is a positive, what I hear from you, I'm going to put it in a mean way, <laughs> you you want Bobby Pierce gone from dirt racing and you want him in NASCAR. So when we want these people to move on, remember, we're going to lose them. Yeah. And, and there'll be another one to come. I'm with you. It's I'm not as much as I want them gone and in NASCAR. I kind of want the world to identify. And, you know, you can say whatever you want about Chaz. Chaz Thompson's been talking about this topic for a long time. And I said the same thing to him. I said, I agree with you. I want people, I just want somebody to go, Bobby Pierce is as good as driver XYZ on Sunday. That's all I need. (laughs) 